Is the future of warfare already upon us? What once belonged to the realm of science fiction is rapidly unfolding before our very eyes. Technology is no longer just shaping our daily lives. It's fundamentally transforming the nature of conflict itself. As the brutal war between Russia and Ukraine continues, one unmistakable reality emerges. The battlefield is evolving at breakneck speed. Traditional roles, like the deadly precision of a sniper, are steadily being replaced by drone operators who can engage targets from the safety of hidden command centers miles away from the front lines. But this is just the beginning of a much larger transformation. Every day, new technologies are being developed to further reduce human exposure to danger in combat. We're moving towards a future where autonomous machines and robotic platforms carry out missions that were once the sole domain of human soldiers. These aren't distant concepts, they're happening now. In this video, we're taking you inside the latest advancements in combat robotics from both Russia and Ukraine, where machines are not only supporting the fight, but are increasingly taking center stage on the battlefield. Stay tuned. On December 16, 2024, Russia's defense industry made headlines when High Precision Systems, part of the sprawling Rostec conglomerate, unveiled two groundbreaking unmanned ground vehicles, Depesha and Karakal. These platforms are more than just technological marvels. They represent Russia's strategic push to integrate robotics deeply into their military doctrine, especially in the context of the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. This move signals a decisive shift toward automation and efficiency in combat operations. Let's first take a closer look at Depesha. This platform comes in two variants, tracked and wheeled, each engineered for specific mission profiles. The tracked version is built to conquer rough and unpredictable terrains. With a load capacity of up to 100 kilograms and a modest but reliable speed of 15 kilometers per hour, it's designed for steady, secure transport in hostile environments. Now, for missions demanding greater speed and payload capacity, the wheeled version of Depesha steps in. It can carry up to 200 kilograms and sprint at speeds reaching 30 kilometers per hour. This variant is highly versatile, equipped for everything from casualty evacuation, complete with a built-in stretcher, to delivering essential supplies such as fuel and ammunition right to the front lines. Both versions share the same core mission, to minimize the risk to human soldiers by taking on dangerous logistics roles in active combat zones. These systems are not theoretical concepts. They are currently undergoing rigorous field testing, including deployments in real-world operational environments to evaluate their resilience under fire. Moving on to the Caracal platform, we find a machine built for sheer endurance and flexibility with its robust aluminum alloy frame, Caracol can carry a hefty load of up to 500 kilograms, making it an indispensable asset for logistics and supply runs under fire. Although it cruises at a moderate 15 kilometers per hour, its real strength lies in its ability to navigate diverse and challenging environments, from narrow urban streets to snow-covered landscapes and muddy rural battlegrounds. Caracol isn't just a cargo mule. It comes equipped with an advanced surveillance suite, including both television cameras and thermal imaging, allowing operators to maintain visibility and operational control day and night. Its modular design means Caracol can be rapidly adapted for a variety of tasks, delivering supplies, transporting critical equipment, or integrating specialized payloads depending on the mission at hand. Russia's rapid development of these platforms has been nothing short of remarkable. The program began in June 2024, and within just six months, full-scale demonstrations were already underway. During these trials, both Depesha and Karakal proved their worth not only as technical innovations, but as operational assets with real combat potential. While Russia pushes ahead with state-backed military modernization, Ukraine faces a very different challenge, racing against time. 
The prolonged conflict has drained manpower, and the mounting human toll has forced Ukraine to accelerate its robotics program to safeguard its forces. However, Ukraine doesn't have colossal state-owned defense giants like Rostec. Instead, it's forging ahead with the help of international allies. A standout example is Milrem Robotics, an Estonian defense company that has supplied Ukraine with around 14 Themis UGVs and plans to scale up production even further. These tracked unmanned vehicles are already proving their worth on the battlefield, handling everything from reconnaissance to logistics support. In March 2025, Germany also further increased its military support to Ukraine by supplying a range of equipment, which notably includes unmanned ground vehicles. Among these recent additions, 30 Garion RCS UGVs, developed by ARX Robotics, were delivered to bolster Ukraine's capabilities. These versatile robots are built for tasks such as logistics support, casualty evacuation, and reconnaissance. Funded by the German government, the full delivery is anticipated to be completed before the year's end. Ukraine's homegrown industry is stepping up as well. The Tarhan UGV, developed and manufactured domestically, is quickly becoming a favorite among Ukrainian air assault forces. Praised for its versatility, cross-country mobility, and cost-effectiveness, Tarhan is a workhorse on the battlefield, transporting ammunition, medical supplies, and other critical cargo to units under fire. This keeps human drivers out of harm's way while ensuring frontline troops remain supplied and operational. Another impressive addition to Ukraine's robotic arsenal is the Liut, a compact but heavily armed ground drone designed for direct combat support. Despite its small size, Liut packs a serious punch, providing fire support and engaging enemy targets while keeping operators safely behind the lines. For Ukraine, the strategy is clear. Embrace robotics to enhance combat effectiveness while protecting human life. Every mission completed by a robot is one fewer risk faced by a Ukrainian soldier. In the words of several Ukrainian commanders, these machines are not just tools, they are lifelines. As both nations race to perfect their combat robotics, one fact becomes increasingly undeniable. The future of warfare is already here machines are no longer just supporting the fight, they are becoming the fight. The only question that remains is, who will harness this robotic revolution to gain the upper hand first? That's all for today. Thank you for watching.